Hello, hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Awesome. Good. Okay. And we are seven already. Don't forget to, to enter your full name. Have your camera on. Thank you. Welcome. This is our fifth session. We're about to start, don't worry. Let's just wait a little bit for your classmates. I hope you started, as I told you before, you were supposed to read the excerpt on your book, the excerpt that we were reading, well, that I read for you. Hope you watched the video and this was page 14. Hope you practiced. Just making some time to your classmates. How was your weekend, guys? You should mute your phones. Good teacher, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Okay, so I think we're ready. Let me see how many we're. Okay, we're fifteen already. Great. Turn on my camera. Soon. Okay, good, Blanca. I got you. Hey, welcome back, Jose Alberto. Hello, teacher. How's the weather? Um, it's nice, but to me, it's not good because I. I fail and see. I knew it. That's what yeah. I suspect. I suspected everyone missing class. I'm like, uh, it's likely he's sick or she's sick. Everybody's getting sick. I'm not getting sick. I'm very healthy. <laughs> I, I tell that to myself every day. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah. So you're good now? Yeah, I feel, I feel better. What was it, the Omicron? No, it's the, I, <laughs> I hope it's just a flu. Mm. But okay. it was a headache. My brother, my brother was with headaches, a little bit of temperature, yeah. and he, he, he's very um, precautious with this thing, you know, with the COVID and everything, because he's very sick. Um, so he went and did the test and it turned out that he was positive. He was positive. And he just had a headache, the flu, you know, and a little bit of temperature. But he's already vaccinated. Are you vaccinated? Yeah. Yeah. You don't have kids, right? No, I I feel alone here in Chalatanango. Okay. No, I'm wondering because I was reading, I was reading a report uh, that said that the vaccines are controlling your fertility, your fertility, you know, they, they, <laughs> you cannot have yeah, babies. I, I hear that. <laughs> you heard that too. 
Yeah. And but they say this with kids. I don't know. So I haven't. I have vaccinated just one of my three children. So I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. Oh, this is really crazy. I'm just suffering uh, of. Uh, I don't know if say how to say high pressure or low pressure. I don't know. But my hands hurt. You know my my joints my joints typically hurt at night especially if i have been working on something i was painting la pila today <laughs> the pile and doing a lot of homework on my last day of vacations tomorrow i'm gonna start at 5 a.m again so so sad <sighs> but it is what it is anyways every Everybody else, welcome. Uh, Jarvin, turn on your camera. Alexander, too. Jessica, Janari, let me do the attendance so we can have this running, guys. Welcome to your fifth class. Alexander. Sorry, let's... teacher. Good evening, but I'm driving right now. Okie dokie. Okay, Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Welcome. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present, teacher. Good. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Welcome. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Razo. Present. Hey, Edwin, we are staying 10 minutes after the class, okay? Good. Okay. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present, teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here, teacher. Excelente. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Okay. Amos Alfredo García Granadino. Se reportó se enfermo. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present. Excelente. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Excelente. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Um, hey, welcome. Sandra Elizabeth Osorzo Romero. Present. <laughs> Stefania Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Stefania Carolina, not here today. Okay, William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Welcome. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz, you're driving, I heard. Jocelyn Imelda Rios Marca. I got it, I got it. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno Hernández. Present. Oh, there you are. Okay. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Welcome. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Thank you. Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Present teacher. Thank you. Welcome back, guys. So today, what have we started on this unit one? We're almost done with unit one. We're still missing just two more topics and that's it. So what do you remember? What is the main topic? E-commerce. E-commerce, okay. What do we know so far about e-commerce? There are some business between and and customer and uh, business. Mm -hmm. and there are many types. Many types of e-commerce e-commerce business. Okay, good. What else? What else? Thank you, Thelma. Jarvin, Alexander, Blanca, Josue, Suleima. There are uh, hi. Ah. Yes, there are many ways to uh, to make or to do e-commerce. You can use different platforms. Mm, for example? For example, WhatsApp, um, marketplace, websites, apps. Mm -hmm. hmm. We haven't talked about that yet, have we? Yeah, we kind of did, right? Yeah. We, yes, we discussed um, different type of businesses in on Tuesdays, I think. On Tuesday? Okay. Yes. Good. Okay. What else? What What has been the most shocking or something that you didn't know 
about e-commerce, guys? Something that you have really learned in this class. I, I learned uh, the advantage and disadvantage uh, at the time you are going to buy something. That's what I learned. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages and disadvantages of buying online. Okay, good. What else? That's it? Regarding grammar, regarding grammar, what did we study? Report it. Speech, <laughs> okay, reported speech, yeah. Who remembers? Can somebody give me an example of reported speech? When we talk about something that we listen, listen before, so we talk about that and we, we talk uh, in past, we, I don't know, we have to say, all that we saw or heard uh, in past, in simple past. <laughs> you got it, yes. It's like gossip, right? You're reporting something you heard. <laughs> something that you heard. Okay. That's it? Good. An example? Go to your book, come on. How many verbs do you usually go uh, move to the past? For example, verb, verb say or report, mm -hmm. mention, I think. Okay. Okay, so if somebody said, if someone said, I'm coming, how can I move that sentence if I'm just reporting what I heard? I'm coming. He or she said that he. He was, or he will come. Oh, you were close. He was, he was coming. Come. <laughs> don't doubt, don't doubt, good. Um, we went out last night. We were loud, no, we were loud last night. <laughs> hey. You're reporting, remember. Yes, we went out. Last night, I'm saying it. We went out last night. So if you want to use reported speech, they, you're going to tell someone else. They went out last night. Okay. He said, uh, he, they won. They went <laughs> out last night. You got it. He said that they went out last night. He said they went out last night. Easy. He works in a bank. He works in a bank. He said that he, he works in a bank. <laughs> you got it. He said he worked in a bank. Mm -hmm. Okay. Easy. Let's see. Models. I can help you tomorrow. He said the same example. Report. Yeah. He said that he could help you tomorrow. He said that he could help you tomorrow. Excellent. He said he could help you tomorrow. Remember, that is not necessary if you want to add it or not. Okay. As simple as that. You're just reporting what you heard from someone else to a third person. Makes sense, right? Okay, practice. 
That's very important. Tonight, tonight, we're gonna be working on page 14. Okay, I'm gonna have some of you reading um, the excerpt that we had, and we're gonna do it together, you know, as, as team. <clears throat> so let me see who's gonna start. Should be a panel. Da, 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 da. I'm going to start with Thelma. She's the first one on my screen. So Thelma is going to read the first uh, paragraph. Then we have Doris um, reading the second paragraph. Two lines. It's not fair. Doris has two lines and I have like five. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> <I'm teacher friend. laughs> then we go with Stefania. Stephanie is going to read the third paragraph, and then Sandra is going to read the fifth, or was it fourth? No, the fourth paragraph, okay? Ready? Can I start it? Yeah, one, two, three, action. Okay. In 1999, after leaving the government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and, uh, so, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade. Excuse me. Excuse me international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stage of the Alibaba, Ma tried to, to raise funds in Silicon Valley, the Tesh Hub in the United States and was met with Daniels. And his business model was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable, unsus I don't know, unprofitable, profitable, and unsustainable by many other time. Okay, nice try. Repeat after me. 1999. 1999. Faster. 1999. 1999. Better. Facilitating. Facilitating. Mm -hmm. Where's the stress? Mm -hmm. Facilitating. The stress is on the, the second, second syllable. You got it. Syllable. Uh -huh. Facilitating. Facilitating. Uh -huh. Repeat. Stages. 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 Excellent. Let's go with. Now, this you said it right. Ma tried to, but in American English, you will say Ma tried to. Repeat, tried to. Tried it. Perfect. Ma tried, tried to raise. Ma tried to raise funds. Ma tried. Ma, ma tried. Try to Ma raise. Try to raise. Uh huh. Let's do it together. Ma tried to raise funds. Ma tried tried to raise. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do we correct this? We repeat, repeat, repeat. So Ma tried to. Ma, Ma tried to. Ma tried it. Ma tried to raise. Uh, forget about the two. What we're doing, Thelma, is joining these two words. Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley. Oh. Ma tried the rice funds, funds mm -hmm. in Silicon, Silicon Valley. Valley. Perfect. So what you need to do is just practice. Ma tried to, ma tried to, ma tried to raise, ma tried to raise, ma tried to raise funds, ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley. Ma tried to raise funds in Silicon Valley. So you just Are go okay. adding uh, words. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ma tried rice funds. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Next word, denials. 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 Perfect. Model. What's meaning denials? <laughs> uh, denials. Ne negatives. No. Negatives. Everybody was saying no. 
Mm -mm, mm -mm, not here. I'm sorry. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh. Nobody wanted to support him. Nobody wanted to support him. Uh, not him, but his business. Yes. His business model. Model. His business model. Mm -hmm. Was criticized. 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 Uh, criticized. Criticized. Perfect. Criticized to be unprofitable. Unprofitable. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> unprofitable. 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 You got it. Okay. And unsustainable. Unsustainable. Mm -hmm. Okay. Unsustainable. Maybe the Un pronounce. Unsustainable. Uh -huh. For everybody, when you have a prefix like on, don't uh, distress the stress is on the negative part un un unprofitable unsustainable got it unsustainable okay good okay next doris okay in 23 is still unprofitable with alibaba Ma and his team launched an online auction site named taoba.com, charging zero commission and talk on a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. Okay, good. Let's see. Hmm. In 2003. In 2003. <clears throat> okay, so we say 2000. Thousand. Uh, in, in 2000. In 2000. In 2003. Okay, what I'm saying is 1000. Look at thousand. the screen. Look at the screen. 1000. There you go. 1000. Okay. In 2003, mm -hmm. unprofitable. 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 There you go. Uh, unprofitable. Okay, next. Launched. Launched. Okay, three sounds. Look at me. Launched. 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 Perfect. Launched. 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 You got it. Launched. Site. Site. Uh -huh. Site. Site. And how do you read this word? Site. Okay. And next word? Name. Okay. Repeat. Named. Named. Perfect. Named. Taobao. Oh, this little guy here, Doris, you read it as? How do you read this guy, guys? How do you say punto in English? Dot com. <laughs> you got it, dot com. Taobao.com. Taobao.com. <laughs> Charging zero commission and took. Took. Now, this is a phrasal verb, took on. Took on. Mm -hmm. And took on a multinational e-commerce mm. giant. Giant. Mm -hmm. eBay. 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 Mm, not T at the end. eBay. eBay. There you go. Thank you. Great job. Next. Okay. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission free marketplace for millions of online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial, financial strain. To stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission-free policy, Ma and his team began offering value-added support services, e.g. custom web pages to online merchants for small fees. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, what's the meaning of this little guy here, guys? Example, Example given. given. Example given, you got it. Example given. In some example dictionary, given. Ex example given, yeah, oh. ejemplo dado, example given. In some yeah. dictionaries, it says F-E, that's really odd, 
for example, <laughs> literally, for example, uh, you may find it as I E, I period E period in example and many others. Okay. Okay. Good job, Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, uh, just do me a favor. Slow down. Okay. Because you read perfect, but um, I'm more into you understanding, you know, what you're reading, articulating for your classmates. So you read very well already. Do you like reading? Yes. Oh, okay, makes sense. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Great job. Okay, Sandra Elizabeth. Okay. Uh, Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years. And eBay uh, subsequently uh, we drive from China Alibaba uh, 25 years all e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States is no one of world larger company has measured by Paris market capitalization approximately Telly, sorry, uh, uh, two tall uh, a ah. two hundred, two hundred, sorry, two hundred uh -huh. dollar. Forget about the USD. It says two hundred, two hundred, billion. Mm, you know this word, two hundred B B Jones billion. Yes. Yeah, billion, uh -huh, 200 billion. billion. Yeah. Okay. Is, it, is it the same in Spanish? Billones, billion. Okay. Billion. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Chinese marketing less than, you say then five years. Repeat, in less than five years. Chinese, Chinese marketing in less that. Uh, okay, le, le, let's go back. Chinese. Chinese market. Chinese market in less than five years. Better. Subsequently. 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 Perfect. Withdrew. Withdrew. Perfect. From China. From China. Mm -hmm. Okay. Guys, the only country in the world that has on its constitution, um, the article is the United States. Okay. Be, car be careful if you see an American, don't tell to a gringo, the, the USA, I know, what, what was it? The, the United States, the United States, no, it's the United States. The, no, the. the United States. And they do this because when you have the article T-H-E before a vowel, it sounds like the, number one, and number two, reading the article as the gives more important, give more importance to what you're reading. For example, the Bible, the Bible hmm. it's, it's an exception. The Bible, it's very important. The universe, the United States, you see? It's like if I tell you, oh, you are from Salvador, right? Irwin, you are from Salvador, right? Yes, teacher. <gasps> Andres, you are from Salvador, right? El Salvador. Oh, El Salvador, right? El Salvador. <laughs> you go like El Salvador. <laughs> the same thing. Okay. Next, let's see. Ca difficult words, Sandra. I'm sorry. Capi yes. Capitalization. <laughs> Capitalization. Approximately. Approximately. A approximately. Better. Approximately. Okay. Capital. So let's see. It says companies as measured by its market capitalization. Approximately. Okay. Uh, I measure it by its maker. Market. Okay. Marker. Copyright, approximately. 
Let's do it together. Capitalization. Capitalization. Approximately. Approximately. $200 billion. $200 billion dollars you got it okay wow. thank you good job okay hey those were difficult words okay since you didn't practice let's practice together i'm just gonna give you 10 minutes and we come back nine minutes okay everybody let's go to page 14 just for eight minutes together take turns read one paragraph each and we come back. Let's go. Ah, okay, I am ready. I'm going to just start the, the first paragraph. Who is the second? Me. Can I write? Okay. <clears throat> In 1999, after leaving a government job, Jack Ma grouped 18 people, including himself and his wife, and sold them a dream to found Alibaba, the goal of facilit facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stage, stage, stages, stages, is also the stage. Yes. Okay. Stage. Okay. The early stage of the Alibaba Ma tried to raise funds funds in Silicon Valley, the hub in the United States, the States, and was met with Daniels. Daniels. Daniels or Daniels? Was met. Was yes. met with was met with Daniels. Denials. Denial, denial, mm -hmm. like, like at night, okay. <laughs> Denials, and his business model was crit criticized, criticized to be um, profitable and to be um, pro profitable? Unprofitable. Profitable, ah, like profitable <laughs> and uns unsustainable. Unsustainable. Un unsustainable by many at the time. Okay. In 2003, uh, <clears throat> in 2003, still unprofitable with Alibaba, Ma and his team launched online uh, action, action sites. Uh, name it Tabu what Taobao okay uh, Charles no Charles Zero Commission Commission or no Fisher Charging Zero Commission Chinese Zero Commission and took on a multinational 
e-commerce, guy, giant, eBay. giant, eBay. Okay, to make this more a more part participative group, the rest of you, you can grab a pencil from your tools, your annotation tools, grab a pencil or a stamp if you want. For example, if somebody misread, okay, something you can put a mark on the word and you can review it later, okay? Okay. Okay. Keep it up. Yeah. Determinate to win the over, the, the over, but me. I think we will continue. Well, Alexander or me? No. I go ahead. ahead. <laughs> yeah. Okay, me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than a few years. And eBay subsequently withdrew, withdrew from China, Alibaba, a 15-year-old e-commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States. It's now one of the world world's largest largest companies as measured by its market capitalization approximately um, two, two billion not two, 200 billion dollars is correct 200 billions yeah yes okay. 200 there's no s at the end 200 billion Billion, huh? Okay. Dollars. Two hundred billion dollars. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. The noun is dollar. <laughs> okay. Who's next? Okay. Uh, okay. Alexander uh, Williams. Yeah. Okay. In 1989, after leaving a government job, Jack McGrooped 18 people, including himself and his wife and sold them a dream to found Alibaba with the goal of facilitating international trade for small and medium enterprises based in China. In the early stages of the Alibaba, my trader trades funds in Silicon Valley, in the tech hub in the, in the United States. And he was met with denials and his business modules was criticized to be unprofitable and unsustainable by many of the time. Okay, let me stop you. Uh, everyone else, <laughs> grab a sticker or a pencil and start drawing. If your classmate says something like Alibaba, you know, or I don't know, uh, facilitating, you can put a check mark on that word and later we correct it together in the group. Got it? Got it. Okay, keep it up. Okay. And um, teacher, I can say 2003. Or 2003 or 2003. It's more appropriate okay. to say 2003. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, in 2000. Okay, um, everybody else grab a annotation tool from Zoom. You know how to do it. You can grab this, or, you know, you know to draw on the on the on the screen, or grab a stamp if you want. And if your classmate says, for example, Kitty C said, you put a check mark there, and then later you correct your classmate, and you go like, oh, I think it is criticized. And you can check the pronunciation right on Google Translate or something. Mm -hmm. You got it? Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. I got it. Read it again. Mm -hmm. 
mean 200, no, 2003, is still unprofitable with Alibaba. Matt and his team launched an online auction site named Taobao.com, charging zero commission and took on a multinational e-commerce giant eBay. Yeah. Determined to win, Taobao remained a commission free marketplace for billions of online trade. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission free policies. Ma and his team began offering value and support service. Example given. Custom web page to only my merchants for a small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years, and eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e commerce company that has its origins outside of the United States is now one of world's large companies as measured by its market capitalization approximately. Uh, oh, hey, Lucas. $2,000 billion, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> My lens, excuse me. I have to change my lens. It's okay. Guys, I have I have a, a question. What okay. is the the best pronunciation about the Daniels or Daniels? I don't remember. Daniels the critics. I, I think I think it's Daniels, but I can check in the denials later. Denials. 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 Many what denials. Is, what is denials. the minute? Everybody was nodding their head. No. 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 It's like when you have an idea. So this is the point. The guy, the guy came to many people with his idea, right? And he was like, hey. Do you want to support this idea, you know, of selling products on Alibaba? And they said, no. And he went to another person. Hey, do you want to support this idea? Get some money, you know, for this idea? No. Everybody was saying, no, 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 no. Denials. Oh, okay. It's like, it's like when you get drunk, when you get Denial. drunk, is the first stage of getting drunk. Denial. Are you oh. drunk? No, no, no. You got it, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the best example. I remember, guys. <laughs> it's a good example. You want to understand that? Yeah. Okay, you got it now. Keep going. Thank you. Okay, keep drawing on the on the screen for your classmates. If you hear a mispronunciation, you can correct it later. Okay. I'm just missing one more group. Do it again. What about what? the subsequently? No, in in the last part, the fourth part. Sub, sub, subsequently. No. Oh. So subsequently. 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 Oh, okay. Subsequently. <laughs> subsequently. Oh, that's okay. kind of hard. Subsequently. subsequently. Oh my God. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, just okay. Uh, it was my mother in law. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, you have to answer. <laughs> okay, so it is subsequently. 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 Okay. Subsequently. Okay. Determined to win, uh, Taubau renamed a commission free merch page for million, millions of online traders. And that did put Alibaba under significant financial strain to stay afloat while maintaining the platform's commission free pol policy. Teacher, how can I say? Pol poli uh, policy. 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 Thank you. Commission free policy. Ma and his team began offering value at support service, example, mm -hmm. custom web page on two online merchants for small fees. Ma and his team won the Chinese market in less than five years. And eBay subsequently withdrew from China. Alibaba, a 15 years old e commerce company that has its origin outside of the United States, is now one of the world's large companies as measured by its market capitalization approximately 200 billion dollars it's one of it's now one of world's largest companies largest 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 Largus. companies okay take largest. it back Excuse me. Oh. the time is over Okie dokie. Everybody's back. Good. Hey, whenever we do this kind of activity, uh, what you can do is just grab a tool from Zoom, let your classmate read. And if you have doubts about a word or you think you know the, the proper pronunciation, then correct your classmate or ask for clarification to the group. Hey, guys. How do you think this is written? You know, what's the right pronunciation of this word? And then you find out as a group, you go to Google Translate, you paste the word, and then you listen to it and repeat, listen to it and repeat. That's what you should be doing at this point in Intermediate 5. So let's keep it up. I know there are many words on that lecture that are like, what? Okay. Let's answer the questions on page 15 about this um, excerpt that you just read about e-commerce. What was the goal to found Alibaba? Facilitate international trade in China. Do we all agree? Yes. yes. Yeah. <laughs> An expert is giving you the answer. So yeah, don't doubt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to win over eBay to sell more products online. Hmm. Well, they were founding the company. So yeah, to facilitate international trade in China. That was the whole idea. When was Taobao.com launched? 2003. 2003. 2003. <laughs> Perfect. Very good. You were paying attention. Hey. 2003, three, three, three. If you say three, three, three is a three, you know, the green thing. Yeah, it's a three. Okay, but this three, three, three. Z R I, three. Okay, next, how did Ma keep the commission free policy at Taobao.com? By offering value add service. Value. Value add. Add. Mm. Third. Added? added. You got it. Yes. 
by offering value-added services, okay? By raising funding, by facilitating trade. Do we all agree? By offering value-added services? Yes. Yeah, okay. And number four. Where did Jack Ma look for funds in the early stages of Alibaba? Early Silicon, Valley. Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Silicon Valley. Why is Silicon Valley so important? What do you have you heard about Silicon Valley? Oh. Yes. What is it? I I think <laughs> is the place where the startups of enterprise enterprises of technology are located in United in the United States. Hmm. For okay. example, Google, uh, mm -hmm. Facebook, I think, I don't know. Startups is, is a better way of saying in, entrepreneurs. 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 El chocolate, <laughs> <hacerlo> la abuela. <laughs> it's difficult. What? Mm. <laughs> okay, entrepreneurs. Entre entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship, entrepreneurship. <laughs> Difficult startup companies, entrepreneurships. Oh my God. Um, so, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, okay. Okay, now we need to do this together. We only have eight minutes for this, and we will do the attendance and we will practice. You have to create um, a presentation together as a group, you know, just to give your thoughts, your ideas about a video that we're gonna watch on how to start your own business. If you, you know, I, I've been on many classes on the Intermediate Five and many students end up starting their own business. It's amazing. Um, I remember, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you this, this little story in my life. I had a friend um, who was with me in the class, you know, I was teaching him English. And when we talked about this topic, we started giving ideas, right? Um, we thought about a product. He loves to make, to make pizzas for his family, but he had a, a secret recipe for the sauce because in the end, what gives the flavor to the pizza is the the sauce, the tomato sauce. So he used to tell me his name was Manny, Manny, Manuel, but we used to call him Manny Manito. So he used to keep the sauce, the tomato sauce on the fridge for six months, at least six months. And he had a, a bottle, a big bottle of, uh, you know, glass bottle with um, tomato sauce for three years. He had been keeping that tomato sauce for three years. And he told me, I'm going to open it on the fifth year <laughs> to see what happens. And I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, you won't believe the taste. I will call you. He never called me. But anyways, I gave him the idea of creating a pizza and start selling his pizza. So when we reached this, this topic, he started his own business. Now he's selling pizzas online locally. And it's doing well. And he's selling the huevo pizza. You won't believe it. It's a, an amazing flavor. I mean, eggs on a pizza, yeah. A lot of cheese. That's very important. So he's doing it. Why don't you do it? <laughs> okay, that's a good idea. Start a business, why not? So let's read this vocabulary. Let's build this vocabulary. You have to match the meaning for example international trade erica you are not allowed to give the answer to your classmates just let them think i'm just kidding <laughs> so if you go with erica you will get that answer okay, <laughs> international okay. Trade. <laughs> this is easy okay so let's go this is page 15 um exercise number four investigate, go online with your classmates, find sense to each meaning, okay? Put me with Erica, teacher. No, okay, let's go.
Hello. Okay, again, we're working on page four, sorry, 15, exercise four. 15, exercise four. Teamwork, teamwork. Okay. Number one, what do you think? The exchange of capital, goods, and service across international borders of territories. Yes, I agree with you. Number two. Uh, for me, it's a community that promote, promotes innovation for technology startup companies. I'm not sure that option. For me, it can be community too. Community, okay. Guys, I'll stand up just for one minute, okay? Okay. I'm profitable. For me, it's a business, no yielding profit or financial gain. Yes, I, I agree with you. Me too. Me too. Commission free. A form of payment, a company chooses, chooses not to charge for its service. Yes, I agree with you. We only have to this exercise only exercise number yes. four, right? Let me see if if I uh, the first one, international trade is uh, the first one, right? Yes. Yes. And the tech hub is uh, communities. Yes. Yes. The unprofitable is um, uh, business, no yield, profit, profit, and financial gain, right? Yes. Right. The last one is a uh, commission free form payment company choose remuneration for service provider product. So what is this one? A form of pay? A form of payment a company choose. There's no to change for its service. Ah oh, yes, it's true. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. We are finished, teacher. You're done? We are yeah. done. We are done. You're mm. done. You're done. Okay. Uh, teacher, I have a doubt. Mm -hmm. How do you pronounce the eight choices? How do you pronounce? Pronounce chosen. Chosen. Oh, chooses. 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 It, it depends. It, it is a verb. So it says a form of payment a company chooses. <laughs> Chooses okay. not to charge for its services. Yep. Okay. Third person. Good job. Give me just two minutes, okay? Okay. Yes. Um, what else we have to, to do in this exercise? Go with exercise five if you're done. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 
to make sense to each word. Right, a sentence. A Using sentence. each of the turns, turns from the box from about. The box about. Right, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know well, if we have to write. terms is correct. Terms with M and or M. Terms. Terms. Yeah, this wrong. Write a sentence using each of the terms. Terms. Okay. It should be an M. Thank you. From the box okay. above. I think it's it's easier the first one. International trade. Because we can use it with, I don't know. <laughs> For example, <laughs> do I, it, I, 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 I studied my career because I like the logistics in the international trade. It's not an yeah, example for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know if you have another That's example. A good one. It's a good one. To write it. We can use another uh, Yes, you can you can share another example. But I don't know what to use. Do you know uh, some business uh, which use commission free or has commission free? With commission for mm -hmm. for, uh, for its services. I don't know if I'm wrong, but commission free for me it's when I don't know every every. For example, when you when you make a transaction uh, through your event, yeah, I think it's a commission free. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You're talking in mute, teacher. But only when you use it with oh. another e-bank, well, I, another account that it's uh, on the same bank. Because we, we when, when you use it uh, in different bank, on different bank, in different bank, uh, they always, you you always have to pay a, a commission. Well, not not always because, for example, in my da vivienda electronic bank, I can transfer money to an account from the other bank. Bank uh, from the other. Yes. You can do that. Yeah. That's yeah. True. With the you can do, I, that, and you can do the transaction on the same bank. You can do the transaction but in the same bank, but to no. transfer to another bank, you can't. Or you can do it at the same bank. I can, yes, I can I do, can. I can do uh, in different bank. Banks. Yes, I can. Yeah. For that reason, I really love the the, the Vivienda account because uh, since the the quarantine, mm -hmm. they uh, left. I think to to. Uh, how do you how do you say cobrar? Commission charge. they they charge. don't charge don't charge. charge yes charge. Uh, a commission bank with, with the transfer to another bank account and they, they and didn't charge you and they, they didn't charge you anything they didn't charge you anything to do that transaction no. they don't yeah. charge they it's don't totally, charge totally any free oh they don't charge any fees. Any fees, for, sobrecargos, recargos. Uh, at least, for at least in my account, I didn't see um, a charge. Yeah, I mean, oh, neither. Yeah, but I you have say you an, are in the vivienda, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know why, but, uh, but I don't have charge. I I know, I know that. And these days, on um, nowadays, it's it's that right, teacher, to say nowadays. Nowadays, nowadays. There, there is um 
an option to to do the transfer transactions between different banks that doesn't it don't you don't you don't have to pay any fees and where, it's transfers where you don't have, where you don't have to pay fees uh -huh. where, where you don't have to pay any fees right got it and that it's transfer 365 and all the banks in the in the event you have that option i don't know if you ever see it saw it i don't know if you've see seen it that. if you ever saw it if you ever no if you ever seen it if you ever seen it yeah good, good. if you ever seen it i don't know did, did you ever see seen that it. option seen it seen it. <laughs> that option it's transferred three thousand no three hundred it's sixty five transfer three hundred sixty five yeah transfer three sixty five oh yeah, and, and it's yeah. and, it, and it's available know. in every in every bank in this country because Okay, so we're back. Um, I'm going to do the attendance before we move on. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Excellent. Andres Giovanni Valdivia Soportillo. Present. Good. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Thank you. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Present. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Madeo Villacorta Chavez. Here. Excellent. Fredis Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Present. Heimos Alfredo García Granadino. Es enfermo. Ok, José Alberto Salas Benítez. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present teacher. Got it. Thank you, José, as well. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Estefanía Carolina Reyes Sánchez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Ramir. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Sick to well, her daughter. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Zuleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Present. Excellent. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Thank you. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Good. Okay, so we're just, <laughs> thank you. we're just missing two of your classmates. So I'm going to take a chance to invite you to finish tonight unit one on your platform, okay? For tonight, we're on our fifth day. So at least unit one must be done by tonight. So I can upload your scores, your grades. Okay. So let's check your results of your work done in group. Teamwork, teamwork. That's important in this class. Okay. So let's see. What is international trade? It's the exchange of capital, goods, and services across international borders or territories. Okay, so that's number one. Okay, got you. What is tech hub? Number two. A, a community. A community that promotes innovation. Uh, which one? A community that promotes innovation? Oh, okay, this number. one. Yeah. Two. A community that promotes innovation for technology startup companies. 
Okay. Unprofitable. A business that not yielding profit or financial gain. Not, right? Yes. Remember prefixes. It's number three, okay. Okay. A business not yielding profit or financial gain, okay. And last one, commission free. A form of payment. Uh -huh. Of okay. A form of payment the company chooses not to charge for its services. Good. Okay. Easy. We all agree. Okay, let's move on. And what about the sentences? What sentences did you build with these words? Examples. And um, I'm all ears. Me? Um, I started my career because I like the logistics in the international trade. This is my sentence. I like the logistics in the international trade. Yeah, perfect. Okay, excellent. And it is true, most likely. Mm -hmm. Okay, next, next, next. Come on, guys. Don't be shy. Okay, Francisco says, today international trade is the basis of the... Uh, can somebody correct the sentence? Today international trade is the basis of the increase. No, you're, you're, you're doing good. Let's see. Can we okay. correct that sentence? Is there something to correct? Everybody. Maybe maybe you can add the increase of the economy. I'll be, be more the... specific. Yeah. The international trade is the basis. The is the base? base? Is the base? Is the base? Is the base of, of the, the increase, of, oh. increase of international prices of of the, the economy? Oh, oh, increase of the increase in the, oh, the business economy of international economy. Yeah, that's the idea. Be more specific. The increase of what? Very okay. good. Very good. Okay, one more. Yeah, no, porque me va a corregir. Oh, oh my God. Really? Come on. General Motors became an unprofitable business in 2009. Ooh, good. General Motors became an unprofitable business in 2009. I'm sorry if sometimes you see me moving my head or doing something that doesn't make sense with my head is because I'm answering my wife some questions. Come on. It's normal. No, like that, right? Like, yeah, okay. What, what do you think about the, the second? The tech hub can improve our country. Tech hub. Hmm. What was the tech hub? No? Yeah, it's good. Grammarly is fine for me. Although I uh -huh. will say could. Could improve our country. But yeah, if you're yeah. totally sure. I don't know. I think that it's maybe to um, use the, the technology for maybe expand the e-commerce. Perfect. For some person. Yeah. Okay. Some banks offer services. You're, you're fine, right, Frank? You're totally right. Some banks offer services commission free. Some banks offer commission free services. Sounds better. Some banks offer commission free services. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Doris, now because of pandemic, because of pandemia, it's unprofitable to sell education services. Hmm. Hmm. It is profitable. It's more profitable. 
in MB4. It's very lucrative. But what do you think about the grammar on Doris sentence? Somebody, Irene, what do you think? Now, because of pandemia, it's unprofitable to sell education services. Do too. Pop, no, 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 I'm not talking about the grammar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh huh. Be more specific. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I know. Eso me dicen mis hijos. Les digo, anda, deja algo a la pila y meten lo que les dije que fueran a dejar adentro de la pila. And I'm like, en el lavadero. Oh, oh, be more specific that. And like, I hate Spanish sometimes. Yeah. Okay, uh huh. Pandemic. I don't know if the correct way. Yeah, and you know what? I've heard some gringos, some Americans saying now because of the pandemic, mm -hmm. they use the article to be like very specific because of the pandemic is unprofitable to sell education services. Yep. Because of the pandemic. Why do they use the article? Because it is in the context right now. If you say the pandemic, you know what we're talking about, whether it is COVID-19 or un Unicron, right? Was it Unicron or I can't remember. Omicron. Yeah. Omicron, thank you. Who's on it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I always think about Transformers and like, wait a minute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, e-commerce. Hmm. I have a big question for you. Have you ever thought about starting up a business online? Anybody? Have you ever in your life thought about selling something online? I just saw an advertisement, an ad from a place where I buy my my spare parts for my car. As you may know, I have a 1978 car, a Volkswagen Golf. And, and the thing is that every time I need a refaction, a spare part, I have to call these guys first because they always have it. The thing is that they are selling uh, caps. They're selling caps with the logo for many vehicles, not just Volkswagen. The thing is that they're asking for $15 for each cap. And I was like, hmm, they don't look like original caps. So I went to Facebook and looked for it. Mm. And I found them in $10. Like, oh my God, really? Do you think they will sell some? What do you think? What will you do? It's not original. <laughs> okay, it's not original. So as a buyer, as a customer, what is the first thing that you do when you see an offer like that and you fall in love with the product? I mean, you go like, oh my God, I need that. I need that, <laughs> you know? <laughs> uh -huh. uh, we're looking for reviews. We look for reviews. No, but in this example, I mean, there's no reviews. It's just another place. Uh, I tried to contact the, the seller for more specifications or more details. Mm -hmm. More details, perfect. What else, what else, what else, what else? Maybe uh search for better offers because if you find one maybe there are others have you ever bought something online or at any place you know when like when you buy shoes and you just go for it you, you go and buy a pair of shoes for a hundred dollars and later you find out that they were 75 somewhere else and you're like oh my yeah God, no I can't believe it. Okay, so yeah, that, that's the kind of the time with. It happens all the time to you. That's bad luck. Okay. Uh, but I think that it's because I'm very impulsive. 
Compu you're an That's impulsive why. buyer, an impulsive buyer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, my wife is mopping the floor and she threw some liquid on the floor and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna get electrocuted here. <laughs> okay, so next topic is about that kind of things that will make your e-commerce business at once. So I, I don't want you to go through that. We don't want you to go through that situation. So what do we do? Become smarter. I mean, if you want to start a business, look at your competitors. At this point in history on e-commerce, there's a lot of history on failures and good examples. Do you think Alibaba is a good example of success? Yeah, I, I love Amazon's story. Yeah, that, that's a better one, but yeah, let's study that. So as a group, you will watch a video of Remember and don't share. Well, I, I have already turned off the option to share. I just want you to watch this video, go jump in through it if you want, or watch the whole video. It's just 12 minutes. And <clears throat> so you can see it with your classmates. Or should we watch the video here together and just stay quiet while, while you watch the video? What do you think? Or should we get split it and then give your opinion in groups? I agree with. With here. what? Here? You can here. Share yeah. it and then right I split now. it. Okay. Your desires are my orders. I'm your helper, helper here. Hold on. <laughs> oh my God, no guys, stop it. Stop the memes on the chat. <laughs> okay, there you go. You have the video. Don't share the content, turn off the volume. So it, the video doesn't get banned. I'm gonna mute you all. Everybody stay quiet, watch the video. You can turn on the captions on the video if you want, so you can understand it better. Take notes, take notes because I'm gonna make questions about the video. Okay, let's go. Sure. Can you share the video over here?
I'm done. Let me know if you're done. Let me know. Thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. Be careful, don't say I'm dumb, let's say I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Okay, let's just wait for the others. Put an emoji whenever you're done, okay? Okay, one more minute, I think. Let me know if you need more time, guys. Okay, time's up. I'm gonna split you just for five, seven minutes. So you can discuss with your classmates what's going on with this video. I mean, what has been the most impressive uh, part for you? What are you planning to apply or what will you apply if you were starting an e-commerce uh, business, okay? An e-business, e I'm sorry. So I'm gonna split you, talk to your classmates because I'll make your questions whenever we come back, okay? Hey, what part did you like the most? I have a question, teacher. Yeah, right. How do you say me llamó la atención? What really got me? What? what? Really, Sorry? What really got me was I'll be in your group. I'll be in your group right now. Okay. Go ahead. Okay, what really got me? I really got me uh, was the one point. Okay, again, what really got me was I really, I really uh, what? I really what? Uh, uh, again, what really got me? What really what? Me uh, was <laughs> me the second point. What's the second point? Okay. Um. They say that we need to work very hard in maybe the project because if I live in my business. I need to put all energy in, in, in this 
project for show the consumer I don't, I don't know, is my comment. Like that. <clears throat> what really got me was when he mentioned that I have to put all my effort and work hard to achieve a goal, yeah. That's the way you do it. This is my comment. Yeah, perfect. Mm -hmm. What about the rest? <clears throat> I'll be back with you guys. Please share your comments with your classmates. Um, you have to you have to be resilient because in the process you are uh, developing your your business, maybe you receive some opinions. Uh, from the others in, in your environment. So you have to focus. Uh, it was an, another tip he said. And the, the other I, I remember is that you have to learn by doing. Is the, is, I think it's the best way to learn when you are doing something is easier to remember and to learn the, the lessons, I think. Lessons. Lessons, thank you. <laughs> yeah, he said that always the first client, it's the most difficult to, to get. To, I don't know, to get, to get the first client. So then the second, the third one, the third, uh, it's more e e it's easier it's easier yes yeah supporting that erica said uh he said that you need to focus in one thing at the time because if you have to two things three things you are not be good you are going to focus on one thing and be the best that's the, the advice about. I agree with the man when he was talking about when you are when you begin a, a business, you have to be focused and you have to work hard because is if you don't do that, anyone going to do it for you. So after that, I, I believe that when you are increase your business, you have to hire it, a lot of person with new ideas, like he says. Yeah. Yeah, and he said that you need to hire people uh, or revenue employees, right? Yes. And this is a good idea, and actually. And yeah, he was talking about a story about a friend that his friend told him that he thought that uh, he was working smart, but at the same time, he had, he had to work hard. It's not the same because uh, he was he was an entrepreneur and he had to work hard work. work. Hi, speaker for with your microphones. Another tip I I like is about the margin you have to to gain for uh, your products because he said that you more like like some gift or violent things to get to see what kind of profit you could get. Well, actually, I wasn't able to do it because I got into another business. So maybe in another holiday, I will be looking out for for to get some 
something to sell to get at least the 50% of the profits. Yeah. Were you selling something during Christmas? Yeah, men's t-shirts. Oh, customized. Yeah, 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 and actually I was getting 50% of profits, yeah. Wow, that's good. I sold a lot. <laughs> I, I started with, um, actually I started with $80. And I end up getting around five hundred dollars in fifteen days. Wow. Hmm. That's awesome. Okay. You really need some guts to go out there, you know, and start a business. It's not easy. No. <laughs> but once you get into it, you gotta go for it. Don't stop. It's true. Okay, let's take it back so we can hear your classmates' opinions. Okay. Do you think that having good grammar in Spanish or English or whatever is a good point to start if you're becoming an interpreter? <laughs> if you're adding something <laughs> and you're right in bios with B as in boy. <laughs> mm. um, <laughs> right. <laughs> Or ben no. I wasn't really understanding the, part, the first impression. I don't know. It's just that sometimes I go to marketplace just to laugh a little because, man, I mean, so many mistakes in grammar in Spanish, and I'm terrible sometimes in Spanish too, you know. I received an, an email from a big company this week. Gracias with S. Uh, yes <laughs> i know we all make mistakes i mean but i mean i said without age hmm. that's a company okay <laughs> hey sir okay so what do you think what was the most impressive part of the video you know i i just watched the video before i chose it when i was preparing the class i was like I just saw the, the, the half of it and he got me. I mean, the guy is very hyper. He's very hyper. It's very clear. But that's the way most successful people are. You won't find someone successful unless... Mm, what is the difference between a hyper and a passive person, you know, with a lot of money? I don't know. I no, no, no. I mean, yeah, but that the, a passive <laughs> attitude, a hyper attitude. What makes the difference? It's a tricky question. Mm, maybe I don't know. The, the passive person uh, always wait. The, the the things happen. The other person try every try harder to to get all your their hip. No, hip his objectives or goals. Yeah, he loves what he's doing. Uh, most passive, I have met, I have met a lot of people with money and the difference for me from the, what I have lived or my perspective is someone passive with a lot of money is because he got it as a heritage from a family, family member or his parents were rich already or at least gave him a piece of money, you know, for him to start his business. 
And he was raised or she was raised on how to do business, how to do to make money. But when you see someone hyper, it's because they struggle, they fought, they they work hard to be rich. You got my point? And you think? They earn their success. You got it. You earn the success. And that's what I loved about the video. He encourages you to, to do it, whatever you're doing, do it hard. I mean, don't be, be passionate about it. Like you, you want to learn English, be passionate about it. Okay, don't just go with the class and I'm gonna be here two hours because the boss said I have to be here. Okay, no, learned. Okay, it's your turn. I'm talking too much. We only have three minutes, four minutes, four minutes. I wanna hear your experiences, sure. go ahead. I just have a question. Uh, how do you spell hyper? Hyper, I think. How do I spell it? Yes. H Y P E R. Okay. Yep. Hyper. Thank you. The, what's the full word? Hyperactive. Oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, go ahead. We have four minutes for someone to give us its opinion, his opinion, her opinion, whatever you want to say, say it. What are you planning to do after watching this video? Irwin. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? Awesome. Hi, thank you. Think it missing your hair, I know. Yeah, I'm sorry. I worked so hard today. I had a one uh, one staff sick. Yeah. Just one? Uh, only one, but uh, maybe COVID. I mean, I'm surprised that it's just one. I mean, eventually. Yeah. Be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Uh, OK, but tell me, what do you think about the video? What what was shocking for, me, for you? For me, uh, I think that the e-commerce uh, wants to find a new customer in the world. This is the most important, in the world, yeah? Yeah, that's important. Get one person to believe in your product or your service and then yes, in the world. Exponential. I love the fact that he used exponential growth it's part of his language. I mean, he, he's always talking about 10x, 20x. No. Okay. Great, great. Uh huh. One more person, Jarvin. Okay, teacher. For me, I think it's not on the video, but I'm thinking about it. And is, for example, the attitude for person. It's a lot of important when you go going to begin a, a business, a own business. And for example, not everyone has the quality to, to, to have a, a business. If you want to have, you have to, you have, to have another person with like a your complement because you have to share your idea and maybe you can have a, a good e-commerce business, for example. You mean that you need someone else to work along with you, but that person needs to be on the same page, have yes. the same thoughts. You know what? That's important. It is difficult. It maybe is the most difficult part. Um, Erika was talking about res resilient being, how do you call the verb? I'm sorry, res resilience, resilience, the capacity of, of supporting all the negativeness that will come to you. When you start something, I have a project. I have been working on my project for seven years already and I'm not done yet. Why? Because I'm missing one thing and it's to trust in myself fully again. When I started the project, I was totally, Thelma met me when I was fully empowered, you know, passionate and I wanted to 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 control the world i don't know 
but I was believing in myself in such a way that I, I went down 40 pounds. When Thelma met me, I was 180, 180 something. I wasn't fat. Now I'm 215 again. So back in 2016, 2017, I was like, 180 pounds and I went down I mean I was 210 and I went down to 180 I was happy I used to believe in me and now you know life so that's very important but if you have someone next to you believing in your project on your ideas even if the person doesn't believe in you you know but listens to you and helps you encourage you to do it that's all it takes you're totally right, Darwin. But if you don't have it, and it's more difficult, and I, I believe this guy didn't have someone supporting him. It was just him and the mirror. You have no one to, next to you pushing you to do things. Go to the mirror. Talk to yourself. That, that worked for me. So think about it. I want to hear your comments tomorrow. Watch the video again. Look for new vocabulary. I found new words there. Hope you do too. Let me do the attendance and I'm staying with Edwin Alexander tonight. I'll see you tomorrow at eight again. Alexander de Jesus Sanchez Soto. Present. Good night. Good night. Don't forget the platform, please. Andres Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Good night. Good night. Blanca Stephanie Navarro Flores. Present. Good night. Good night. Dora Elizabeth Flores Mendez. Present. Good night. Good night. Edwin Alexander Ayala Eraso. Present. I will stay. Thank you. Erika Beatriz Lopez Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Irwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Good night. Good night. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chavez. Present. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Tredis Vladimir Cortez Lopez. I'm here, teacher. Good night. Glenda Laura Celada Renderos. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Amos Alfredo Garcia Granadino. Josué Alberto Salas Benítez. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Yuri Vladimir Cruz Ventura. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Luis Ernesto Romero Argueta. Present, teacher. Good night. Good night. Sandra Elizabeth Osorto Romero. Present. Good night. Good night. Estefania Carolina Reyes Sanchez. Present. Good night. Good night. William Alexander Ramirez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortez Diaz. Present. Have a nice, nice night. Same to you. Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Roberto Luis Umaño Orellana. Suleima Ivonne Moreno de Hernández. Okay. Irene Susana Cuellar Albanés. Present. Good night. Good night. Jarvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Good night. And Thelma Clotilde Peña Martinez. Good night. Good night. Okay, Edwin. This is our first session. Vamos a tener nuestra primera sesión. So, suelo abrir estas sesiones en español eh, para dejar clara las dos preguntas que yo suelo hacer en las que podemos basar esta primera sesión. Eh, ok. So, primero, ¿cuál ha sido su experiencia con el inglés? ¿Ya lo había estudiado antes, desde pequeño, o en la universidad, no sé? ¿O hasta ahora está por primera vez tomando el curso? Y la segunda pregunta, eh, ¿qué estoy haciendo? Aparte de tomar estas dos horas de clase, ¿qué estoy haciendo uh, fuera ¿no? de la clase para mejorar el inglés? Ok, este, no, eh, pues yo empecé a, eh, en español, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, uh, quizás eh, yo empecé a, 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 con inglés corporativo desde el primer módulo, uh, pero solo que yo empecé presencialmente. Uh -huh. Yo iba ahí a las, a las clases de allá, donde está el escalón. Uh -huh. Entonces, de ahí se vino la pandemia y solo hice hasta como el que el, quiero ver hice hasta el básico 5 ahí presencialmente y ya después lo fui haciendo así eh, modo en línea verdad como cuando cambió todo 
solo de que pues ya llevo como un año y medio, porque por la misma pandemia pues se retrasaba bastante, a veces un, un, empezaba un módulo y descansábamos un mes y medio y, pues, y empezaba el otro, entonces tardaba mucho, pero yo ya venía practicando inglés desde antes, desde que, este, como yo estoy motorista, ¿verdad? Pero yo soy motorista para una familia de aquí, de, la, pues, de los de dinero, ¿verdad? Se podría decir. Uh -huh. Entonces, este, cuando los, los hijos de ellos vienen de, así, de, de Estados Unidos, estudian en Canadá, otros en Inglaterra, entonces ellos empezaban a hablar inglés y, y les y yo les empezaba a agarrar la onda y, y entonces fue que yo me fui interesando en aprender inglés. <ríe> ¡Qué chido! Uh -huh. ¡Qué bien! Uh -huh. ¡Súper bien! Eso es buenísimo, uh -huh. ¿eh? Sí, entonces pues, ya después uh, lo que yo hago para aprender o sea, allá aparte, ¿verdad? Después de la clase, es que, por ejemplo, yo aquí con mis hijas, yo tengo una, una niña de 10 años tengo otra niña de dos años, dos niñas tengo. Uh -huh. Entonces lo que hacemos es de que la, la, eh, si vemos Netflix, lo tratamos de ver todo en inglés, igual YouTube, eh, ver películas totalmente en inglés y poner los subtítulos en inglés. Ya no los ponemos, ya no los traducimos. Entonces eso es la cosa que hago para poder aprender un poco más. Y pues lo que usted dijo, fíjese que me llamó bastante la atención, ¿verdad? Porque yo no, no he querido salir de mi trabajo. Tengo muchos años trabajando para esta familia y ellos me tienen muy bien, realmente. Pero realmente si quiero aprender más inglés tendría que meterme a trabajar a un call center, como usted dice, ¿verdad? Porque es mentira que afuera es, es relativamente, eh, como le explico, o sea, tienes que estar en, en esa parte para poder llegar a ser más fluido, siento yo. Y usted lo dijo, no sé si se recuerda. Correcto, correcto. Sí, uh -huh. o sea, es que lo que no se practica, se arruina. A mí, a mí me acaba de pasar ya 15 días, eh, bueno, una semana estuve sin hablar inglés para nada. No tenía clases, uh -huh. no, no estaba en el call center, ya mañana, mañana regreso al call center y es, se siente raro. Se siente ¿Y raro. cuál está usted? Estoy en uno que se llama Black Hawk. Es un call Black center, Hawk. sí. El que está en la, man, en la Manuel Enrique Araujo. Está uh -huh. arriba del Walmart, ¿verdad? Sí, pero yo estoy desde mi casa. Ajá. Cabal, cabal. Uh -huh. Sí, solo que ahora ya no tomo llamadas. Ahora estoy solo solucionando problemas de la empresa. Eh, o sea, siempre con clientes. Uh -huh. Es raro que ya tome una llamada. Pero eh, sí es importante, o sea, practicarlo. Eh, si no quiere dejar su trabajo, no hay problema. Busque a alguien con quien poder hablar no sé, un par de minutos al día o a la semana, o sea, pero estar agarrando eso. Um, si tiene tiempo de noche, también hay trabajos que contratan eh, para trabajar desde casa, o sea, ya con el nivel de inglés que tiene. So, trabajar desde casa tomando ah, llamadas. Sí, que hay muchos amigos que me dicen de que, que, que sí, tal vez tengo el, el nivel para poder entrar a uno y que, y que vaya a aplicar, ¿verdad? Porque, por ejemplo, Teleperformance tiene ahorita un part-time y dice mm. que es working on en, en night shift y que pues, solo son como cuatro horas nomás. Ya. Yeah. And, okay, let's go to English. Let's see. <laughs> you don't have to work that okay. much. That's a part-time job, four hours. Four hours is like 350. It's going to be hard for me, you know. <laughs> Why? It's like being, be, because you have working the whole day and sometimes I have to do a lot of things. I came home very tiring, everything. And then have to I work come. four hours more. I, uh, okay. So. okay. I come home very tired and then I have I to work home. four hours more. Four hours more. Four hours more. Four hours more. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah. Really? Is that your yeah, daily routine? So. How often? What's your schedule? What's a regular day like for you? So uh, my re regular day, I start working at seven. Uh, nowadays, um, I, I have to, I, I need to be in the house at seven because my boss is in the United States. So I, I, I need to take, you know, I need to took the children to the college. So um, I have to go regular, regularly. Uh, I have to be at eight regularly. Regularly. regularly I have to be at eight. Uh -huh. in a, regularly, I have to be at eight. 
and I get out at five or six. Mm -hmm. But right now you have yeah. to take you have to take the kids to school. Okay. Yeah. And the traffic. Yeah, my, yeah, I have a motorcycle. Uh that's that's I can move a little uh, a little bit more fast. Mm -hmm. but, Correct that. I have yeah, I can move a little I, bit uh faster. Yes. No. <laughs> when you reach when you reach the intermediate level. You have mm -hmm. to focus on, be careful with uh, superlatives and comparatives. That's all. Okay. Mm -hmm. Speak slower, try to articulate better instead of, of trying to look at me. I mean, I'm, I'm not eating my words. I'm just thinking what I'm saying and not in Spanish. It's just talk, 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 but try to articulate better or find better words. And this is a game. Mm -hmm. This is a game you okay. can play. Listen to yourself and then mm -hmm. think, what did I say? Okay, how can I say it in a different way? Because this is what normal Americans do. Something that I will recommend you to do is start mm -hmm. watching YouTube videos of, they could be even funny videos. Like when Johnny Depp mm -hmm. goes to the Saturday Night Live, Saturday night live show. Have you seen that show? Mm -hmm. Okay, watch no, the, the interviews. <laughs> watch the interviews. Okay. I mean, they're funny. You can find Pink, Johnny Depp, uh, Tom Cruise was there too. Okay. Many actors, you know, and see how they speak. You will notice this. Normally they okay. don't rush through the words, you know. Uh, they just try to convey their, their message but sometimes they stop and, and they say something different. <laughs> no, mm -hmm. so it's normal and that's natural English because in the end, at any job interview, at any job interview or even in communication, normal communication, uh, what matters is to give yourself, to make yourself understood. Okay. No, to make yourself understood, someone else to understand you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not how fast you speak. I mean, you get that eventually with time, you know, you don't even notice, but one day you're just talking and talking in English, you don't stop, you know, but always try to listen to yourself, think in a different way to say things. Y una manera de hacer eso también es en español. Incluso mm -hmm. en español tratamos de escucharnos que estoy diciendo, ¿cómo lo podría haber dicho de manera diferente? Y luego me muevo a cómo lo diría en inglés esto y lo otro. ¿Ya? A good idea mm -hmm. and yes bueno keep practicing you're welcome hope you have a wonderful I, night I will do. take care with you too i just want to tell you this uh uh mm -hmm. el, el jueves el jueves viene mi jefe y viene a las diez y media de la noche entonces creo que me voy a tener que salir a las nueve de la de la clase o yeah. nueve y me, nueve quince even solo before por ese día nomás. it's okay es solo por ese día nomás. Aún antes, no hay problema. Si vas para el aeropuerto, mejor que vayas con sí. tiempo y no, no, no te preocupes. Puedes faltar, sí, puedes faltar una o dos clases, no hay problema. No, okay. pero creo que me voy a conectar aunque sea una hora, porque creo que a las diez y media viene. Porque, ok. Como es, yo vivo aquí nomás de, en, en Santa Elena, tengo que ir a traer la camioneta y ya pues es cerca. Excelente. Bueno, ok. Have gracias. a nice night. Buenas noches. Take care. You too. Take care too.